all right guys how are you all doing today i'm fiesta here and today we have some important news firstly we got google getting sending a message about the stadia and well it's a sad news that stadia is officially gone that's right as the state it hasn't gained the traction with users with expected so we've made the difficult decision to begin winding down our stadia streaming service so yeah stadia is officially dead we already heard about that way long ago that they're gonna be shutting down stadia entirely and now they've decided to officially stop it to be honest with you they shouldn't ha shouldn't have because you know it takes time to develop these kind of stuff i don't know what google was thinking that on the go they're gonna start ramping up the games and you know th the whole stadia project but yeah sad to see it's going but i don't think anybody will miss <laughs> so yeah and next up we have nvidia rtx 4000 series basically the 4090 has been listed in the pro shop in a european based retailer and if you look into the pricing here you might want to uh, check your wallet because this is not good it's coming at 1999 euros are you kidding me what is that price that's right and the rtx 4090 tough coming at 199 not 1999 or whatever that pricing is absurd msi rts gaming trial at 2099 again absurd pricing like not to mention again uh inno 3d geforce rtx 4090 x3 oc also coming at 2099 wow and th it gets worse it gets worse look at this that's right the highest we can see asus geforce rtx 4090 rog asterix oc coming at 2549.90 euros i mean i'm out of my words this is absurd absolutely and if you even convert it to usd it's not too much of a difference you know so rip i guess our po our wallets basically <laughs> not them next up we have gigabytes bringing in their uh, support for amd ryzen 7000 in a more of a workstation base and there this is the motherboard they have launched so yeah it's, it's not visually appealing obviously because it's a workstation base but yeah if you're looking for something like this gigabyte has it for you and it's gonna support the ryzen 7000 processor and this is the am5 platform you're looking at so yeah gigabyte bringing in something for the workstation people i guess and next up we have a roadmap basically a leaked roadmap for the am5 platform and if you look into it there's a very interesting uh announcements here or leaked announcement you could say that ryzen 7000 x3d as you look into it it's coming between 2022 and 2023 the rumor was basically early q1 of 2023 and it seems like it is the case it's not too far off as you can see and if you look into it the am5 platform right here begins here and this is the if, it, if this is the beginning it should be coming real soon like you know as i said q1 of 2023 hopefully january february probably somewhere around there i hope that is the case because you know 3d parts are gonna be blazing fast in terms of gaming that's for sure not i don't know what about productivity but for gaming for sure it's gonna be very fast because because we already seen what 5000 to 5800 x 3d can do right so i guess 7000 and hopefully this time around they're gonna bring 3d to all the skews like the 7600 x 3d maybe or 7700 x 3d or even 7900 x 3d i hope they bring all kind of skews you know but then again will they i don't know but we'll see this is the leaked roadmap coming from this leaker here at Seb Huan Sarang. Holy, I completely butchered that. Anyway, yeah, there we go. And next up, we have Intel announcing obviously their ARC 770 and 750, and the pricing is very good. Surprising, really. Uh, ARC A770 coming at 349 as you look into it, but the limited edition is gonna be 349. Don't care, I'm gonna look into the 329 because that's more appealing, right? <laughs> $20 less. 
I mean, the more or less, the better, right? And A750 coming at 289. Not sure how it will perform because we don't even know the benchmarks yet. Though I'm guessing it's going to perform better than 3050 Ti. Who knows? We'll see about that. And these are the specs here. We already know that. And just by looking at the specs, it's not a too far off. 32 XE cores versus 28. So I'm guessing it's going to perform better than 3050 Ti. If not, then... Well, that's a bummer, but according to the pricing here, it should be better than 3050 Ti. So, we'll see. And lastly, well, the USD pricing for the, well, RTX 4090 is here. And if you look into it, the pricing is as expected as we were thinking. Hope At least that is great news. What we've seen in the European retailer, that was absurd. But here in Newark, it is, well, not bad. Like, it's directly coming at 1600 That's right. RTX 4090, even though that pricing is still bad, right? But it's not overly estimated. At least we can say that for us, it's tough gaming. MSI, GeForce RTX, uh, there it is. It's the gaming X trial, I believe. And for WinForce, the same thing. But for MSI, wait, what is that pricing? Hmm. A bit increase here yeah and the supreme x is gonna be a little bit expensive too i mean not just a little bit 200 dollars so not to mention that yeah actually no it's one, one yeah it's 200 dollars so that's not good that is not good actually it's 100 dollars what am i my math died anyway uh supreme x with water cool is gonna be very expensive understandable yeah Asus Tough Gaming again is coming at, like, what is that price? I think you should buy this one. Other than this one, it's too expensive here. Even though it's out of stock, so it doesn't matter. Uh, ROG Strix, I would say avoid that card because it's still heavily expensive. And uh, if you look into the European price, it was 2500 Here, it's just 500 less. I mean, again, not the same currency, but you can, you can get the idea. It's like... $2,000 still absurd pricing for the ROG version and we also have Gigabyte Aorus that hasn't been listed yet for the pricing of course so it's still coming soon so but yeah the pricing seems like it's not overly exaggerated as I can tell but still not that great for the uh, premium models like this one yeah all right that is it for today what do you think about the pricing for 4090s like do you think that's like you know justified at least in europe it's not for sure but in us it's looking like yeah i mean the msrp still stands and i would su suggest people to if you're interested of course and if you have the money go for the well the msrp models not the premium models because the premium models don't look that much appealing anyway and also the price is crazy so yeah what do you think let me know and of course subscribe and share share like comment of what you think and have a good day for sure.